Imagine this, you're standing in front of a sea of eager faces, all eyes locked on you, hanging on to your every word. Your heart races, your palms are sweaty, and a million butterflies flutter in your stomach. Fear starts to creep in, threatening to sabotage your moment. You can stop now. Public speaking can be terrifying. However, because you're watching this video, you'll be armed with the tools to speak in public like a pro. Hey friend, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Ufon Akman and on this channel, I share content on career, personal development and faith. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for your loyalty. I do not take your consistent support for granted. Thank you for clicking this video. And if this is your first time of seeing this face, you are welcome. I hope that you make the decision to subscribe to the channel after watching this video or any other video you'll be watching on the channel. Before we begin, give this video a thumbs up. All right. Hey, before we proceed, I want to give a special shout out to an amazing individual who left a comment on last week's video. Richie, thank you so much for your support and engagement. Your comments brightened my day and I appreciate you being part of our community. But guess what? The spotlight doesn't end here. You too can get a shout out and here is your chance. Leave an engaging comment below or share this video on your social media platforms and tag me. Thank you so much for your support. You know why you're here, so let's get started. One of the best ways to combat fear is to be well prepared. Take the time to define your message, organize your thoughts, craft a compelling message and rehearse your delivery. By knowing your material inside out, you'll feel confident, capable and ready to take the stage by storm. Also, knowing your audience is an essential step in the preparation phase, even on the D-Day as well, because the type of audience you face affects your choice of words, humor, opening sentence, length, and much more. There are several ways you can understand the audience you'll be speaking to. First, research the events using their social media platforms or website. Second, learn about the other speakers, if any, and the type of presentations they are giving. Next, find out the size of the audience. This can dictate the structure of your speech. So speaking of audience, to ensure that you connect with your audience, you need to plan your speech accordingly. For instance, don't use jargons or acronyms if your audience are from a different industry. Keep your language and your slides as simple as possible. Another important factor in your preparation phase is the introduction. I've heard people say you have just 90 seconds to either gain or lose your audience, but I will give you 30. Uh -huh. You have 30 seconds to gain or lose your audience. So while crafting your speech, keep that in mind. For your introduction, you can start with a quote a thought-provoking question, a personal anecdote or humor. My second tip for you to overcome the fear of public speaking is to remember why you are there. You are on stage because people value your expertise and knowledge. Or at the very least, whoever had put you there has confidence in your capability. So use this thought to try and relax. If you were not capable, you will not be there. People aren't there to give you a hard time. In fact, most people will not want to be in your shoes and they are probably grateful that you're the one on stage instead of them. So have some faith in yourself. My next tip for you is to embrace your authenticity. Authenticity is the key to connecting to your audience in a deep level. Embrace your unique style and personality when speaking in public. Don't try to imitate others or try to be someone you're not. You are unique in your own way. Every other person is taken. So be you. Don't try to be a copycat. Don't try to use somebody else's voice. You have your unique style, so use it. Let your true self shine through as authenticity is not only captivating, but also helps you feel more confident and genuine on stage. Public speaking in itself, it's not about you. Yes, you are involved in the process, but it's also about your audience, the people you'll be speaking to. So in most of the tips I'm going to be sharing with you, you'll hear audience a lot. So my next tip for you is to engage with your audience. A great speaker knows that public speaking is a conversation. It's not a monologue. So actively engage with your audience. Maintain eye contact. 
use gestures to enhance your message and invite participation through questions. When you connect with your listeners, you create a dynamic and memorable experience for everyone involved. Next tip for you in overcoming the fear of public speaking and speak like a pro in public is to take a pause. When you pause, you get rid of the ums and ahs. When you say those filler words, you're taken away from your credibility, you're taken away from your authority, you're taken away from your influence and impact. But when you pause, you give the audience some time to think about what you've said. And most importantly, you give yourself time to think about what you're going to say next instead of the R. Uh, uh. Personally, I have been intentional when I'm speaking, not just in public, when I'm speaking to anyone in daily conversations, you hardly hear me say arm. Um. I don't say arm um or R. Uh, I just keep quiet before I say my next phrase, before I say my next sentence, instead of, um, I was, uh, I was, uh, aside the arms and the R's, people say things like, uh, like I was going to like, so taking a pause not only gives the audience the chance to reflect on what you've said, but also gives you time to think about what to say next instead of using filler words. So just pause. Okay, my next tip for you on how to speak in public like a pro is to use repetitions. One example of a great speech is Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech during the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. In this speech, King spoke passionately about his vision for a future in which all people would be judged by the content of their character rather than the color of their skin. He used powerful metaphors and repetition to emphasize his message and connect with his audience. For example, he repeated, I have a dream throughout his speech, which became a rallying cry for the civil rights movement. King's speech is widely regarded as one of the most powerful and influential speeches in history. So while crafting your speech, make sure to include repetition. You don't have to use repetition simultaneously, but then it becomes a joke. But include repetition all through your speech because even if people will not get everything you said, they are bound to remember some phrases or a particular phrase you repeated for a number of times throughout your speech. The power of repetition cannot be overemphasized. My next tip for you on how to speak in public like a pro is to master the art of storytelling. Stories have the remarkable ability to inspire and captivate. Use anecdotes, personal experiences, or relevant examples in your speech. Stories create an emotional connection, making your message deeply resonate with your audience. I'm going to give you another example of a speech. One was Martin Luther's, remember my previous tip? Yeah, so another example of a great speech is Steve Jobs' 2005 commencement address at Stanford University. In this speech, Jobs shared his personal and professional experiences including his decision to drop out of college. He used personal anecdotes and storytelling to convey important life lessons, such as the importance of following your passions, embracing failure, and staying hungry for new experiences. In his words, stay hungry, stay foolish. He also spoke about his battle with cancer and emphasized the value of living in the present moment. Job's speech has become widely viewed as one of the most inspirational and influential speeches in the modern era. It has been watched millions of times and has inspired countless people to pursue their dreams and live life to the fullest. So embrace the power of storytelling and watch your speeches come to life. My next tip for you on how to speak in public like a pro and overcome the fear of public speaking is to manage your body language. Definitely, you'll be nervous. This is natural to feel nervous. But what's not okay is to allow your nervousness to take advantage of your moment. So while speaking, stand tall. Good posture helps you project confidence and authority. I mentioned this earlier. Use hand gestures. This can help you emphasize your point but not wild hand movement. And remember to move around the stage. On the stage, it's your moment. Take advantage of it, okay? Finally, seek feedback and learn from each speaking experience. 
ask for constructive criticism from trusted individuals. Embrace feedback as an opportunity for growth and continuously refine your skills. Remember, even the most accomplished speakers are constantly evolving. There you have it, friend. Now it's your turn. Which of these tips resonates with you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you find value in this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends, families, and colleagues. And subscribe if you've not yet. I hope you make the decision to do so. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.